Hello my class 9 students. Today we are going to solve the doubt from maths chapter circles. It is of class 9 ICC pre-board syllabus. We know that circles is an important chapter and some children find this question difficult. So I decided to just make a video of that. The question reads like this, an equilateral triangle of side 6 cm is inscribed in a circle. Find the radius of the circle. So we have a diagram here. I have shown equilateral triangle ABC and in this we will have the three sides equal and I am going to draw AD perpendicular. That will be my construction. Alright, so construction you will write on your own. That is you are going to drop AD perpendicular to BC. Alright, I am directly coming to the proof just to save on time. So what is given and what is to be found all that you will write on your own. Now first statement that we will write will be triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle and the reason is it is given. The second statement will be therefore we will write AB equal to BC equal to CE and here the reason will be from statement 1 since sides of equilateral triangle are equal. The third one we will write that AD is perpendicular to BC and for that the reason is construction which I told you to write on your own like so. Okay now the fourth statement is like if I have AD is the perpendicular on BC and it is the altitude in equilateral triangle. It is also going to be a median and if AD is a median then D becomes the midpoint and the perpendicular at midpoint is going to pass through O because this becomes the perpendicular bisector of BC. So remember your altitude of equilateral triangle becomes the perpendicular bisector of BC and BC is a chord of the circle. So we will write that AD is also perpendicular bisector of BC. Okay and here we will say statement number 3 since perpendicular from vertex bisects base of equilateral triangle. Okay. Now the fifth statement therefore will be our BD will be equal to DC will be equal to half of BC. Now how much is each side? So we will write here 6 centimeter. So each one of these BD DC will be half multiplied by 6 which is equal to 3 centimeter okay and this will be from statement 4. So we will write here 3 centimeter here also 3 centimeter okay now we have to find the radius. So you will see that this O will be lying on this perpendicular bisector O. We have to mention that the perpendicular bisector of the chord passes through the center. So next statement we have to write is O lies on AD and this will be from statement 4 and we will say that perpendicular bisector of chord passes through the center of circle. That means in our diagram we will have BO equal to radius and AO equal to also radius correct and this one how much is it going to be? This is what we'll have to find out if we can find out how much is the length of AD. Okay so for that we are going to look at the triangle this one. In this triangle can we find AD? We know that each side is 6 cm. So our AB is 6 cm. This is 3 cm. So we can find AD correct. So we will say in right triangle ADB by Pythagoras theorem we will have AB square 
which is the hypotenuse. This one being the hypotenuse is equal to AD square plus BD square. Correct? So AB is, can you see over here, it is 6 centimeter. So it is 6 square equal to AD, which we do not know. So AD square we keep as it is and BD is, can you see over here, it is 3 centimeters, so 3 square. So you will have 36 equal to AD square plus 9. So our AD will be square root of 36 minus 9, which is going to be under root 27. So AD will be under root 9 into 3 which is 3 root 3 centimeter. Now let us look at our diagram. So from AD this one is 3 root 3 centimeter. Okay now can you see your AO so I'll mark this with triple line here and this also triple line and we have this BO and AO they are radii correct and our AD turned out to be 3 root 3. So how much will be this OD? This OD from here to here. How much will that be? Because AO plus OD is going to give us AD and AO is radius. We'll call that as R. This BO also will be R. So AO also becomes R centimeters. Okay. So our R plus OD gives you 3 root 3. So we'll get the length of OD. Let us see how we write it down. We will say AD is equal to AO plus OD. And why do we say that? Because it's the diagram, right? And therefore, we will have 3 root 3 is equal to AO is radius plus OD. So we will have OD equal to 3 root 3 minus radius. Now let us look at that. This OD is going to be 3 root 3 minus R. Okay, so we will be able to now look at this right triangle. See here this one. Now in this right triangle, we will have OD square and BD square adding up to BO square. So let us write just that. So our statement number 9 will be in right triangle ODB by Pythagoras theorem. Let's look at the diagram ODB and by Pythagoras theorem we'll have OB square equal to OD square plus BD square. Now OB square is the radius. OD we have the value over here. Can you see this? So we will write over here 3 root 3 minus R whole square plus BD is how much? Look at the diagram. How much is this BD? 3. So 3 square. Let us just find our R square now. Here we'll use a minus b whole square. So it will be a square means it will be into 3 minus 2 into 3 root 3 into r plus r square plus 9. So we will have r square getting cancelled here and we will have 0 equal to 27 minus this is 2 into 3 gives us 6 root 3 into r plus 9. So we have this 6 root 3 r has come this side. So 6 root 3 r is equal to 27 plus 9 which is 36 and so r will be equal to 36 upon 6 root 3. Now 6 1s and 6 6s six but can you see this denominator root 3? So we need to rationalize this and that will give us 6 root 3 upon 3 and then 3 1s and 3 2s. That will give us 2 root 3 centimeter. Now if we want we can write 
the value of root 3 as 1.732 and that will give us that is the value of our radius okay i hope you understood how to solve this this is our answer was that good okay also let me know which city are you watching from so that i can get to know more about my students okay in the meantime stay healthy stay safe bye